we had a really difficult, very heart-wrenching weekend. We lost a very dear friend of ours, very dear. And you know how that just hits your heart when somebody suffered and, oh, but just to know that they know, that they know that they know where they're going and they have the peace that only Jesus can give. So I'm going to keep reading in my chapters of John 14 and 15 and pulling out those verses to just reassure myself and you that Jesus loves us and he's got us and he's got a place prepared for us and we are his children. It says in chapter 15, 7, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. That's the way the Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, this is Jesus speaking, so have I loved you. So continue in my love. I mean, that's a friend, that's a father, that's our Savior. I looked up that word abide. I love to look in my Blue Line Bible, online Bible, Blue Line Bible. And if you could just tap on the verse, and it will give you Greek, Hebrew, it's all, I mean, everything you want to know about a word or a verse. So here we are with abide, to remain, abide, in reference to a place, to sojourn, or to tarry, not to part, to continue to be present, to be held and kept continually. Oh my gosh. He not only says, Mi casa es su casa, my house is your house. He's saying, stay with me. Let me hold you. Let me sit at your table and continue to be very present. Now that's an invitation you can't resist. Amen? Amen.